My name is Amal El Falase Grushni and I am the executive president of this uh, AI center, which is uh, an international center of uh, artificial intelligence of Morocco. Uh, the, there are two things. There is the center, which is AI movement, and uh, the aim of AI movement is really to move with ethical and responsible AI. Uh, in Morocco, but in Africa, with collaboration with international uh, uh, colleagues. Uh, and there is the Dome of Artificial Intelligence, which, which is this wonderful building, which was under construction till now. So we just finished uh, this, uh, this building, and now we, we moved from another building to this one. So all our research and development will be made here. And as you can see in this circle, we will uh, use uh, uh, the idea is to experiment, for example, drones uh, here and to develop uh, different uh, applications on, uh, on, on drones, but also in art, as you can see, or in uh, machine learning, uh, smart cities, etc. So there are two things. There is the building and there is the center. And now the center is hosted by the building. What we are doing for uh, social inclusion is that we first uh, we, we work on building capacities and uh, for in when, you, when it comes to inclusion we talk about vulnerable people. So we will provide tools like uh, the, the, the winner of the hackathon for example, tools for women, Taj, Taj Women, it's a very nice app, will be on the mobile and the women that cannot uh, uh, read or write, use the, the, the mobile app to, uh, to write and to read uh, any language, you know. So this is a kind of application that will upgrade the skills of women that didn't get the chance to go to the university or to go even to the school, primary school. So we know we have a very... Uh, now, young people, of course, will not need these applications. But uh, we still have a lot of women in the background uh, and left, left on, on for, for, for their prob with their problems. So we will try to give solutions, this kind of solutions. Another kind of, of application we can develop with, with uh, sensors, artificial intelligence, machine learning, is like the second... Uh, Winner. The question is how to improve the security of women around the, around us, and these uh, uh, sensors, uh, artificial intelligence, can be used to help these women to fight, uh, to be uh, more equipped against, uh, for, for example, harnessing or violence in the streets or, or these kind of things. So, but also people that cannot go to the the, the in, in very uh, uh, far regions, you know, you cannot, uh, women cannot, for example, or poor, only poor, poor men or women cannot go to the doctor. So we can provide application that can answer their questions. Sometimes they have to run like uh, 100 kilometers to find the first uh, medical center. Uh, while they don't have cars, they don't have uh, means to, to, to reach that centers. So uh, one of the, the applications that win the hackathon was about uh, pregnant women, for example, um, to provide answers. Even uh, to, you, like Ema, you can discuss with this uh, robot and get answers to your questions if you are uh, alone in some place and uh, you don't have the means to reach a doctor, for example. So there are also mobile uh, applications. You can also have. Uh, like uh, recommendations for different things and so on. So this is kind of application we can we can imagine easily and we have this project uh, we can develop but we have other projects like for example this one uh, for smart cities how to gather trashes uh, very easily in optimized way without uh, while taking account of the uh, the carbon emission and all this uh, stuff. So there are questions of optimization, there are questions of empowerment, there are questions of, uh, of creativity also. We, you know, in a Maslow pyramid, we, we don't need to stick to the first and second level. So people want to be, uh, the well-being is also to, to, to have this kind of uh, creativity and so on. So AI is, has a huge number of 
potential applications. And what we need is talents also. We need to form talents to bring these technologies and this innovation to the table. And uh, we are working for that. I think Morocco has a lot of potential. And there is also a vision to spread this innovation in Morocco. Even in Africa, we talk with colleagues, you, ha you have seen many colleagues from Africa that came to us and want to uh, have digital twins with our center. So we can have real impact uh, on Morocco, on Africa. And if you, if you, um, if you think, if you have the, the, the atmosphere for well-being, for fairness, for inclusion, Morocco for sure, and women in particular, will bring a very big added value. And I think we can scale. One of our criteria in the project was how you think you can scale your apps. And on mobile phone, you, can, you have 70 people connected today in Morocco. So why these 70% people will not be able to use apps? It's very straightforward. So, I mean, we, we have a lot of means and we have a lot of potential, we have a lot of creativity, and I'm very happy to be here because we have a very young men and women that work. You, you come here at 10 o'clock in, in the night, in one o'clock, you, you find people working, developing things, testing things. So there is this creativity, and I think, I believe that Moroccan, uh, Moroccan new generation in Morocco will bring the needed added value.